glorious is thy name is thy name o lord nalio kama mtoto wa kawaida i was good okay i was uh, bouncing baby boy from the medical reports in court case case like our kid will never walk again they are not disabled person in my life before then i'm in a special school now and so many sort of this disability i'm like guy god what is all this by class 8 mm-hmm. i became suicidal my god let me make it easier for you nimekwambia so many days with you hautaki waja ni waja ni jiwe na jiwe ni nenda hel nataka tu nitanipatia one minute i tell you how bad you are is like you're talking to god yeah hello guys watu wangu wa power welcome back to triple m favored youtube channel the best and the biggest online tv show and so guys if you have not yet subscribed be part of the team subscribe like and share widely so guys today niko na story i know it will inspire everybody out there niko na dan hapa the most hard working man palivo naivasha na ako na very interesting story to share with us uh, alikuwa alizaliwa akiwa normal person normal kid but as time goes akiwa mdogo aka have an accident when ili mwacha akiwa disabled acha nisiseme mo let go direct to dan the man of naivasha yes <laughs> the most hard working guy i know <laughs> Yes, but yes, I'm you're so doing great. Here. That's why I'm um, just happy. At mm. least learning mm. your commit. <laughs> yeah, I'm so also happy about what you do. I love your song, your little song. Wow. Yo, you guys are watching. You. A little <laughs> song. <laughs> so nice. You know that you're Roma. Yes, Roma. You guys should watch it. Yes. It's very inspiring, but I love what you do also. Thank you. Yes. You look like kuna kitambo, niko niko na directing ile ya Central. Central Comedy. Central Comedy yes. iko na pale Inoro TV. Yes, yes. Hebu kwanza wasalimie. Hi team Triple M. Mhm. Today is my day. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh finally uh, I get a chance to meet you guys. So I'm so happy and excited. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much Dan. Okay, who is Dan? Dan is a second born. A family of five. Mhm. Is uh you know uh um, <laughs> two brothers i mean one brother mm-hmm. three sisters mm-hmm. i'm a night guy mm-hmm. uh, i do project man- management mm-hmm. and i also serve under inclusion mm-hmm. and accommodation mm-hmm. basically we want to make sure our organization is inclusive to women and persons with disabilities okay yes so you have talk about persons with disability yes and uh, ulizaliwa ukiwa hivyo ama kulienda aje let's start there mm sorry is long but i try to keep it short okay. nilizaliwa kama mtoto wa kawaida i was good okay i was a bouncing baby boy of course angalia watu wetu wa tiktok <laughs> bouncing baby boy yes 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 sorry i was yes i was raised i was born just okay mm-hmm. uh, and i grew up in a normal family of course uh I was born in Eldoret and um, and mm-hmm. my family I could say they were really loving. Mm-hmm. I grew up at an age of 5 or 6 years. Mm-hmm. Then I got an accident in mm-hmm. school and that's where my condition started. So then, yes, yes. Kulienda the accident in Tokyo VP. So this is what happened. Mm-hmm. I used to love Chipo. Okay. Sorry, mama ngo ngi let anything apart from Chipo mean game mama mama mm-hmm. miss school. So I'll just go back to class next year. What? Yeah, you didn't get any work again? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, that was young. I think 96. 96. 95. Why you born? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, why? Yes. Me ni mze. Okay. Me ni mze. I see. You. So, but ni kona ni. Hey, si basi mo ni kwa mo mo kanya ends. Uni kwa lakula chipo le kaule tewe chipo. Yeah, that's your something. Me na zasema tu I thank God for my childhood. I think. In as much as we were not well off i think i got a life that almost a rich kid got wow, like my, our parents really did our best to make us happy mm-hmm. so anyway so this particular day mm-hmm. being waiting for my parents mm-hmm. we were like a few kids up at the gate and then of course na wale walikuwa mletoa chakula mbeleni them they were vibing with their parents so here see tunabaika tunachoma najua 
Mashindani aje. Eh, and this kid though. Mm, and this kid though mm. from nowhere I just comes and started teasing us with some pieces of mandazi. I make a ile 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 box ya nini ya unga. Ile ya X. Remember the X? Eh, yeah, ile ni ni una ika mandazi ndani. So he how he was carrying it. So ana kuja nakwambia tuko na mandazi, kuna mandazi, what what. Sasa see we didn't even pay attention. We were got na msunob. So he will just go around and akuja na tutiz. See we would, we are not vi- we were not vibing. Okay. So then I think he I don't know what triggered him, but he came and pushed me all of a sudden. So this was mm-hmm. just an African. No, I go Africa. So this was an abrupt to thing that happened too quickly. Mm-hmm. Ah, me found myself on the ground. I was crying. I fell on my back. So unfortunately what happened is later which I came to realize mm-hmm. ilikuwa you know my nerves kind of got affected in kikuyu we call it munyiginyigi so when munyigi guys okay munyiginyigi na kizungu ni so the backbone no 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 the backbone you know where your your two legs separate there's a kama kwa kadogo kana wao mtake hivi mtu akiza tampa nemo una kwa paralysis So for me it was a but I think it was a little bit of so my nerves kind of dislocated which we came to realize later. So anyways my mom found me in my lap or in my lap on my ground it was a chance and I'm like so me I'm crying can you be done when you when you go to chafu at the kanguza na wamki it was like so I can remember that can you be there but later she of course Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. chipo in fresh of course. Mm-hmm. I ate, I went back to this class. So when you wake up to come out away Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, up. yeah, it was fine, but I think I felt so much pain because if my mom found me crying, mm-hmm. then it means I was in so much pain. Mm-hmm. And you know, it it was sometimes a bluff. This kid who made me push me as a jury, I didn't know that he was going to say So, yeah, Minika, I think I think we did. We were not Joanna, but um at that time. So, this is what happened when I went back to class after a few days me and Kaza Korea left my left leg was becoming weak. Okay. And after some time my post of my right leg was started becoming weak. Mm. Within a month, na tembea three steps na anguka. Na tembea three steps na anguka. So the one thing me so that time my uh a friend family friend and me ona kambia eh mama dan mm-hmm. i think your toy is sick but like to see you know like eh wele mimi mwana mtoto wangu then like you see so that's how my clinic journey started yeah for how old that time i think around 567 I, i can't remember the okay. we actually went all over and by the time tunafika kenya i wasn't working mm-hmm. Singe jipe like a chore, you know, it was so crazy at the time. My dad was the one who was taking me to, mm-hmm. you know, to the hospital and all that stuff. And interestingly, when I started going to the hospital, we never followed up with him to the top of the line. We never really got it. So, okay, by the time I'm not feeling anything mm-hmm. on my legs, like I was semi paralyzed mm-hmm. with the same evil what will come kuja kwa my mom like hey who who who, who has the guts to make your kid mm-hmm. uh, even like this mm-hmm. they have to pay for it nini nini i was saying to him nini sana ali mchocha but my mom and my dad they really they were saved and they still mm-hmm. saved that's, that's yes they said no no we, we won't oh. sue the kid because mtu is innocent hata mm-hmm. juu alifanya nini at even if you ask him right now ataju atajua mm-hmm. and then they were like uh, from the medical reports in court case like our kid will never walk again mm-hmm. so it it's gonna be a lifetime confinement to ya kukiti kwa wenzi ama kukiti kazi yetu itakuwa kumsaidia kila kitu so for them it was this mm-hmm. they they made a prayer to god mm-hmm. they were like god want to do want to make a prayer in faith ya kuwa utamponya mrudishe tu vile alikuwa he was able to do his own stuff independent na sisi we won't pursue any legal stuff mm. at the time and mm. interest yeah because i remember baka mp wa kwa hiyo time mm. wako wetu 
wa Eldoret East alikuwa amekuwa willing to hire lawyers for us to sue the school to sue the parents of that kid but our parents my parents declined mm-hmm. they said i should never see that kid ever ever mm-hmm. so that nisia ishi nikimwonanga nikisamanga ule dali nifanye nikum kwa mgonjwa mm-hmm. and them also they didn't want to know the parents and also the that kid mm-hmm. so but it, yeah so i think it was good that's so, so done yeah ndio huyo umekuwa paralyzed kwa kwa wheelchair huku zaliyo kwa kwa wheelchair ulitekaje ukiwa wewe kibinafsi Yeah, I was young. Nasi you know, before the accident, I was just a normal kid who doesn't who's just finding them alive and just living the life. I used to run so much. Those days, you know, in a community set up kitambo, watoto walikuwa kuna masaya watoto kuoga. They will walk up for more jioni. Yeah. Ile nakumbuka kwanza eh tem kuna unaoga unakosha mnaoko kwa mawe yeah 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 but, yeah. but either way sisi hatupo hiyo show nje mm-hmm. but we used to of course walk your time mm. so me used to run away i used to run and well, young people will be tell will be told hey chase that kid and i think that people are going to go so me so me eh hey, me used to run so so we used to joke those okay when when i became older we used to joke like Hey, done. Mm. What if you run Munga Kona? Eh uta utakimbia hivyo protest kumoja because we never used to catch you. Mm. Actually ni wewe ulikuwa unafika pale unafikia tu. Nimechoka kukimbia acha nirudi tu home. So probably what if God felt unaweza kimbia hivyo uende ukiendane. Tumia kushika. You know those days na no cars. Mm-hmm. It's just bicycle na mtu mmoja kwa hiyo community. Mm. Yeah yeah. But anyways, so I me after the accident I think I was so confused mm. I was I think I was in a in a sort of a trauma I didn't mm. understand myself mm-hmm. I tried to adjust to the camera Yeah yeah <laughs> so I didn't I wasn't able to know what is going on okay. at at some point I would try to understand na shindo ngo ni watu wanaangalia I realize you used to be I'm dirty all over and then um Another thing is I became very aggressive, very angry. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I will be, become violent. I'll throw stones against my parents. Kuna time me nilijamu mm-hmm. ngo nikatupa mama and kwa gonga wote. But fun, okay, interestingly, mm-hmm. my parents never they I, I think they kind of understood my mental state at the time. Mm-hmm. Because wako kwa like wenda kugonga, they were like no acha tu mpache tu time so when i'm relaxed they will come and say dan you know that you nene nene and they will be so loving mm. and me i want them to hate me so i be, and okay. then at some point i became reserved then i became angry mm. and it was a mixture of i was trying to like adjust you were depressed on yes on i was too. yes i was trying to make sense of what is it what is what is this now Okay, apart from your family, you are sure kids are going to treat us at first you go up or then you are ready to make yeah, on so, a chair. Yeah, one thing in Asamanga, mm. what I remember is all of the kids are not there. But they came in the class. Uh remember ni lingia nasari kama my sister dingia nasari. Mm. Ni lingia shule when my sister got class 3 na mimi got class 2. So you can imagine how many years I lost. So naingia class 2 siko yenda class 1 mimi in my life. Naingia class 1 ileenda tu interview class 2. Na mwalimu akasema I think this kid, child is wise but as home. And ileenda special school. So that that even became like even more confusing. Je, you're not a single person in my life before. Then I'm in a special school now and so many sort of this disability I'm like guy god what is all this? And yeah it was so depressing it was confusing um and then the special school was not really good in in special school school in acceptance and kama vile nilikuja during the holidays mm-hmm. you know you're coming to normal people like i was called them normal mm-hmm. it dealing so guys are like looking at you sana you're like I, i'm the center of attention i don't like attention mm-hmm. what is all this when mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Then I said, 
I started realizing people are looking at me funny. Then young kids, of course, they are very innocent. They will be some will laugh. What? Some will walk just on a particular. Some on a kongalia. Ulimia, ulimia. You know, so many questions by small kids. Na sayo may ume jam. You know, one thing na kumbukanga iyo time was going through that. My dad, before my accident, was very, was a businessman. He used to make a lot of money those mm-hmm. days. Ali gave up your pasuyaki a business. Mm-hmm. All through my medication till the day I was able to walk. Mm-hmm. And I didn't feel like I was. Even kuna time we went to go see mm-hmm. to Nairobi with a number of guys from the church. Mm-hmm. He never allowed anyone to carry me. And That's one cool. thing I remember about so, my dad mm-hmm. is through during those days, one time we went, mm-hmm. I actually broke his shoulder because of carrying me on this side. Yeah, and he never told me. He told me when I was older. So it was, yeah, it was emotional because yes. like parents, just parents, the sacrifice. Up. So oh my, actually, big up. Big, up. big up to my dad. He's a uh, he's God it's, bless him. yeah. Like I always, he's one person I he gave me a reason why I, should, I need to leave. <laughs> yeah, true to leave, but today God and our parents are done. Like you can walk all over again. Nini, nini. When my dad found out one time in the Kamkono in a, in a special school, I can do a like a regular school. I went to class two, class three, mm-hmm. class four is the Kusoma Missouri. I went to class five. Mm-hmm. So from class five, I, I started in a regular school. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was easy. Okay, in a, in a regular school, the teacher is special. You know, you're a special kid with mm-hmm. a nini, nini, nini. But I felt weird. You know, yes, mbona wana. Mbona, yes. So, but I, uh, I think five, class five, six, will you enjoy your, your feeling of feel special in school. Mm-hmm. But in class seven, something triggered. Like, I felt like, I just think your adolescence is another kungia pole pole. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter you are not you are different. You are not you are very weird. You know, yeah. people take you special because they were used to taking you like that. Yeah, he, he has a like normal. Yeah, so, That's and not yeah. only that, I used, there was a place I used to pass, mm-hmm. the shortcut of Africa home, mm-hmm. ilikuwa karibu na Nasar. Mm-hmm. There were these kids who used to, sasa wakitoka saa kumi, mm-hmm. na minatoka saa kumi, mm-hmm. wana ningo, yani, I don't know, mibu wana ningoja mwana ningoji, mm-hmm. but in the moment I passed two hapo, ah, rano nifata nyumu waki, cheka. That, you, that thing used to, ilikuwa in a hut. <laughs> so, he, mm-hmm. eh, I remember ili fika pali I think it started up in my mind mm. around class 7 nika kuwa so reserved I was a very outspoken person to class 5 class 6 but all of a sudden class 7 I stopped going to I stopped playing with my friends I stopped friendship nika kuwa kumtu wa nyumbani after school I just stay at home I'm not speaking to anyone by class 8 mm. hey, I became suicidal by son one time my sister comes one time he found me in the bedroom. I'm holding a rope on my neck like this. I'm looking at the wardrobe mirror. My God, let me make it easier for you. I'm going to so many days with you. I'm talking. 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 i can be messing up with people's life like this. Hey, I was angry. Those days who were in the story of God, you can see the corner. Yeah, so imagine me not Jaribu could study for my KCP, KCP, mm. the mock. Now feel I can do more because I was a, I was a really good student in class. Mm. I don't feel disability when I affect my performance. Because I think 300 and something, 370 something, I think 374, 374. So I was sure KCP na pata 400. Mm. Then KCP na kam na pata 3, either 316 or 340. Kombi okay, I was like, is it John 316? Yes. I was like, God, we can't tell. Where is it? But yeah, Bible verses are mad. You know, <laughs> to God so love. Hey, God, to God so love the world. I'll tell you how you shape this world. Oh so God. I was like, I'm going to kill myself and come. So my sister came and found me there. Hey! I'll jump. 
stored at Kaita of my sister now, the one who's following me, ZP. ZP was like, at what do you mean? Kachiko yiko kamba, kakipeleka pali. And then my sister is very, very strong. Eh? Mm-hmm. Actually, it was a case of mona ni mtu mkubo, mrefu. I was very like, very strong. So that time, mwalibuja tu kama nchukua, chaa, kakipeleka wasiki. Kanyibia, wea utoki hapa. Na bethe mwangali, we are in Bali. Indima. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that time, and then they, they told my mom, I think my parents were not there. And then they told my dad, I, I expected like my dad to be very angry. Mm. Because all my life I've triggered him, tried to make him angry. Yeah. He was not like, getting angry. I wanted him to hate me, like, yeah. and he took care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm. in a special school, mm. and this is, this is something I observed. Mm. In a special school, I was like, 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 my brothers moja likuja lia mbona mm. tunacha brother yetu huko the job when he was young mm. and they will come all them together just to each other yeah yeah like they me have never felt less loved i think to leave funzo kupendana sana kwa family yetu mm. but i will see the opposite so i expected my parents to treat me the same but they were not so yeah i became suicidal at some point Okay, well, let me say something about this. Maybe you could parent Pali boy in jail. And then, maybe what to work out there out there. Mujoku, sometimes kids wana fanyanga kawa juu. Una kujona za kuchekilia mtu kwa sababu ni gisebo. Mie call them gifted different. Kwa sababu ni gisebo wako. You never know who mse aneza jiwa juu yako. Juu yako, wemo yu na mtusi yako. It's not good. Kamo kwa mzazi, tunza wa toto wako. Si mtu wana penanga kwa. ya you will not be able to love yourself and love other people. Mm. So if you ever find someone who is disabled, who is very confident, who mm. is everywhere, outspoken, successful, Jua, he had a very good upbringing. Or at some point in life, mm. he got counseling and got the support he needed. Mm. But most of the time, Dr. Nga Wengi Wawa on a formation, a history of discrimination, mm. history of rejection, history of just abuse, na kufungiwa yu. So how can you tell these people, parents, when you're in Danga, 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 I think, I think I'll just tell them this. Everything in this life I've come to realize has a reason. Everything has a reason. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and accord, accord according to his purpose. What I mean is, he has, uh, he has all these disabilities, but with you, God, I'm planning. Like right now, I can say, and it's not boasting, but I can say I'm the most successful kid in my family. Me ni remenda yuni ni kamaliza. Me ni yuni kana better job. Me, I, you know, and I'm somehow the one supporting a lot of people in my family. Not only them, but also friends and relatives you see so great. so you can imagine the impact in that my mom is seeing now sometimes we talk mm. and we laugh and we say by the what if i was you guys raised me different age and she will always tell me i don't think that we will be raised different we loved you from the day one and that love never changed at a couple of wow. years ago. so i think influence your parents just know that mm-hmm. you can define your your child's future by how you're treating them love them we'll see where they will go mm. we will not be disappointed yes okay. yes then uh, you're doing great and may god bless you a lot kuna time inafika nga unaona i wish it never happened ninge kwa mtu noma like vile nilizaliwa kuna time kai wishi ifika kwamba sha yes i think what really changed okay before my so i had a surgery in 207 mm-hmm. after my case here KCP. So I went to Form 1. I didn't go to a good school that I liked. Mm. 
I hated that school. I just went and then I became so sick. Then I came to realize I need a surgery because my back had a problem. And um, the doctor was really plain. This doctor from Q, I was like, by the way, he is surgery in 50-50. And he, ah, bass. Mungu likata ni juu, eh? Mifanyia kazi raisi. Now, this is where I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was pretty, okay, I like, I had mixed jaw. I wanna live, I wanna die. And so, I, I think I didn't know what I wanted. Okay. But I was leaning more to, like, I just wanted to go. Because I remember Lillian the surgery from around, very early in the morning. I stayed there for like, eight to seven, seven to eight hours in the spit. They added like two pounds of blood. I had like five support machines. Uh, I was unconscious for several days before I was conscious. Mm-hmm. And I found even my machines, oxygen even. So what I used to do is, my mom is not looking at all your machines. Okay, I don't have any, but I'll just like scroll my, and oxygen. Then at our own, I on Rhodesia. So when you pick up it, you can say, ah, let me not breathe. I have a choice. I cannot breathe. So one time my mom was just beginning story with a friend of, of hers. Mm-hmm. And then I stopped breathing. Because I'm too watching to breathe. Because mm-hmm. if I don't breathe, then I'll die. Then the friend noticed, hey, oxygen level we meant about 20%. From around 80 to 70. Yeah. Mama, done, we are not you. I'm going to kufa. Oh. Oh, okay, done, kill it, kill it, kill it. So then, then I started breathing. Okay, anyways, mm-hmm. the reason I was doing that is because I felt like it's not the prayer I wanted, I thought I was going to die. Because I had mm-hmm. given up on life and I was so angry with God, mm-hmm. with everything that was around me. Mm-hmm. And I felt I would, I would not succeed in my life. So this what this is what happened. Um, uh, There were kids to in an hour surgery, the same surgery. Mm-hmm. There was this particular girl, mm-hmm. after two days of the surgery, Ali Kufanga Bandana. And it became so real to me. Mm-hmm. I think I was going to get my oxygen, 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 it's opposite my bed. I was going to get my oxygen, but I was going to And then I show, I saw, okay, I show, mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> I, I saw the, the show show. Mm-hmm crying and just like god me na jo mtu atakuwa kichwa sawa akuwa sawa ki akuwa akuwa mentally poor akuwa mwe mambo but si kwa complain even a single day why have you have you taken my child? like this hearing that prayer it, it, yeah, it kind of triggered me i was like hey done you are so ungrateful and then also i saw other kids how are you poor I was the only kid who was able to get the kid. He 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 was able to get the kid. Then later on, when I was in recovery, I hear those two other kids died. For six months, I'm like, what do you mean? So I think if I just had a very serious and sincere talk with God, I was like, hey God, I, I know I've been pushing you so much like, I hate you, nene, nene, but I think I, I really wanted to succeed. But today, you are a life mentor, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so from now on, I just want to let go, mm-hmm. and I want you to do your thing. Me, I'm just gonna be mindful of today. Wow. Tomorrow is on you. Mm-hmm. Since then, today, I want your your esteem, your what what confidence mm-hmm. level, what what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was two was two seven to eight that wow. time. So that changed. So I always say na konga na two phases in my life. Mm-hmm. One before the surgery and one after the surgery. After the surgery I was a different, totally different person. Became confident. I, was, I didn't care whether we didn't get put out of place in order to check and get check now. You know, I will just laugh with them. I'll enjoy. The kid will ask me anything. I will want to be very arrogant or very angry. I'll be like, hey, no, 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 I changed, like, like it changed my life. For positive na- life. Yes, really I became very positive, change. and my life, I think, from there, I saw God do amazing things, man. 
ume grow your church mm. hey bana mimi ni mtoto wa church mm. me i was hey, me, I, you know me i was raised by two mokorino guys mokorino parents hey but when i was a kid oh aha mokorino kitamba yako ya kwanza ni kwa class nikienda kuingia high school i was like done na kitamba but i used to go to the church I used to fellowship with them but of course unajua mm-hmm. kijijua mhm au unataka anga personal relationship yako na god is quite defined by your parents yeah as we wind up uh tuambie social media handles zako kwenye tunaweza kufikia tuko follow yeah ambia watu team triple m <laughs> hey triple m uh, you can follow me at facebook daniel red prone mm-hmm. at instagram from uh from red at twitter at from red na youtube si kwa tu sije post ni but hopefully triple m atanisaidia hapo maybe niwe na content but tutaziandika hapo kwa screen guys unaweza mfollow kama uko hapo unataka any help uh, regarding what to disable unaweza mfikia anaweza kuonyesha a way to go and so done hatuachangi watu hivyo which talent uko na talent gani <laughs> <laughs> That is very interesting because talent, your I talent. Think I'm a creative. Creative person. I'm not a sporty person. Mm-hmm. I'm not a singer. I'm not a but I'm, I find myself very creative. I can get something and work on it and it becomes something. When I was in the media industry, mm-hmm. those days were after my campus. Mm-hmm. I worked with a, a number of comedians. we were doing this project for Central, nani, Central, charge, Central Comedy mm-hmm. Akina Patrick Arwembo mm-hmm. Katelo alikuwa anaitwa Nikki ah eh kina nani there were several guys like Mirako Baby you used to be in a group sio alikuwa anajiita aje mm-hmm. msahau so many comedians akina Kiengei they know me uh-huh. Patrick Arwembo they all these guys akina Kiengei akina kikara ki mm-hmm. yes hata nani this guy okay. this guy does a lot of videos a promotional videos akikuya ni tongana nani he has a very big voice anafanya yes. anafanya nga promo oh. eh hey, promo anafanya nga ma promo mo uh, ah that ah uh, ndakumbuka ndakwambia yeah, yeah, yeah. but yes <laughs> they have worked with, I've worked with so many guys so now I do so talented. Yeah so I'm working with IT uko web. Yeah like I'm a jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. I, I I I can say I, I'm a person who elevate. Okay not elevate because mm-hmm. God does that but mm-hmm. I have that nini of helping people empowering people and becoming something. Wow, unapenda mm-hmm. mboga ni? Mimi any gospel mm-hmm. song. I don't do secular by the way. Mhm. So I I I can't glorious is thy name is thy name o lord glorious is thy name I'll send you it's a very nice song Wow thank it's you a, it's scriptural song Thank you so much we love you. you Dan and may God continue expanding your territory Santi Say hi to mom and dad when they are Santi on camera Yes mom I love you my dad in heaven Talk to you very soon not soon but oh, no. one time um my dad passed away in 2010 It's like you seen you under two you under two check up now you how come you walking mm. what is what do you mean I thought keep the man in the MRI at the way how your back is oh um, yeah oh so I, I always remember what my dad used to tell me his faith is the one that made me who I am today the doctors will never understand and of course I will never tell them like okay of course I know in my heart poor it was a prayer that my dad and my mom used to pray about mm. and it was answered always forever you. grateful to my parents wow 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 now if your parents they are going to any kid when you make this to a different thing it's good to show them love wapende jinsi walivyo you never know story ya dan i know it has inspired, inspired everyone out there na kama vile dan ametuambia he's now he and his support system ya familia yake you never know maybe wao mtoto mungu amekupea kwa sababu ya kesho na yeye atakusimamia kesho 
asaizi asimame na wewe so guys thank you so much continue subscribing to my youtube channel follow down on our social media handles and may god bless you a lot a lot for supporting me this is triple m favor be part of the team bye bye until next time Ding!